Can I tell you about Upstream Colour? You can. It's the second film from Shane Cruth, who made Primer back in 2004, nearly a decade ago. Um, it's a very oblique film. The press notes say, log line. A man and a woman are drawn together, entangled in the life cycle of an ageless organism, to which the synopsis adds, identity becomes an illusion as they struggle to assemble the loose fragments of wrecked lives. It's not a film which can be described very well in narrative terms, although one should say that at the beginning there is a woman who appears to be abducted, then has some form of parasite uh, uh, fed into her, which then grows, is then removed, is then somehow transplanted into a pig. Turns out that somebody else has had a similar experience. Then the rest of the movie follows a growing relationship between her and another character who has similar body markings, and somehow they all appear to be joined on some strange level with the creatures who have received the parasites from them. So on one level, it begins like a Cronenbergian body horror movie like Shivers or Rabbit, or, or even actually like the, the Brandon Cronenberg film, Antiviral. Then it's a bit like in your hands, somebody has been abducted and then after the abduction, nobody believes them. They kind of, is it a half-remembered dream? Did it all really happen? There are nods in it towards things like Silence of the Lambs, the pig farm. It's always the suggestion that something really, really horrible is about to happen. I spent the whole film in a state of extreme creeped outness, but that extreme creeped outness worked rather well. This film has a strange, woozy, dreamy, unsettling and uh, unsettled feel. I never relaxed into it. The imagery is very, very tactile. The oral landscape is the guy who made it, also did the sound for it. Neil was talking then about music and sound effects blending into one. And in this, they really do in a seamless way. It is about the interconnectedness of things, but it's a kind of anti-pantheistic movie. It's about love as an infection and being a parasite, and yet also on another level, it's a kind of revenge thriller, except it sort of isn't. It disturbed me enormously, and it has stayed with me for a long time afterwards, and I am convinced that when I see it again, which I am going to do, I'm going to find even more in it. It's, I can't, it's a very, very strange, unsettling, edgy, odd experience, and it is definitely worth seeing. Movie of the week? Yes, I think so. No, that was a question. Oh, well, I think Upstream Colour.